We're looking into someone's mind and seeing what they're trying to think. Connecting them to a computer and allowing them to use their mind to perform different types of mouse clicks allowed them to communicate through emails and text messaging. We implanted our first participant in August 2019. He, along with the other uh, participants, have motor neurone disease. It's a progressive disease that will eventually cause me to lose my voice and um, the use of my limbs. Whatever he needs, I will, I, you know, he just has to call out to me. If his voice goes, I'd ha I'll have to be virtually beside him all the time. Oh, the hardest thing is um, the loader puts on Nancy. She loses um, her independence too. I've embarked on a trial using a Stentrode device. As an option, when that does happen, I'll still be able to communicate with my family and friends. The idea was that we would give them mind control or the ability to control a computer using their thoughts using the blood vessels as the natural highway into the brain and lacing the inside of the blood vessels with electrodes or sensors that can record activity from the brain. That platform then is like a Bluetooth. Essentially perform different types of mouse clicks, allowed them to communicate through emails and text messaging. Watching the patients use it certainly was, uh, was magical, seeing them just use their minds to control something. A surprise to me was the impact that would have on the, the carers and those that, that love and look after those patients. It was a really pleasant surprise. Without Westpac uh, you know, supporting my, my fellowship and uh, essentially the research that I did over, over those you know, three or four years, what's happened now might be, might be quite a different story. It's been able to provide us with the, the capital we need to conduct a very large clinical trial over, over in the US, uh, as well as Australia. So that's really the, the next big step. For people who can't use their arms or, or can't have their minds and brains connected to their limbs, if they can come in and get a day procedure, have the, have the stentrode implanted, go home with the, the software, and, and really we want it to be a plug and play out of the box, connect up to, to computers and the things that you need to control and away you go.